is our nation's seventh president and every year thousands of people visit his tomb at the Hermitage. But tonight, Andrew Jackson's final resting place is covered up. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland explains what happened. This is what visitors are used to seeing here at the Hermitage when they go to visit the tomb of President Andrew Jackson. However, after someone vandalized the tomb overnight on Friday, it's been covered up to keep from offending anyone else. Throughout the property at the Hermitage, surveillance cameras capture visitors as they come and go. In the trees around us, we are being filmed right now. There's also security 24-7 with guards on patrol once staff members leave. Despite all that, someone managed to make it to President Andrew Jackson's tomb with a couple of spray paint cans. So it's black and red spray paint. The stone cover of Jackson's and his wife Rachel's tomb were spray painted. So was the tomb's obelisk. And that too is spray painted. And there are obscenities spray painted on the, on the stone, as well as a symbol of anarchy. The Hermitage CEO Howard Cattell says the symbols on Jackson's tomb are eerily familiar to those that have been found on Confederate monuments recently. The difference is this isn't a monument, it isn't a, a statue. This is a presidential t uh, grave, a tomb, which is really desecration of a national historic landmark. As they go through the footage captured by surveillance cameras, he hopes whoever did this turns themselves in. What were you thinking? You know, where, where is your head? But more than anything, he says this act of vandalism sends a strong message. Whether you like him or not, he was a consequential president. And um, I think this speaks volumes about where our nation is right now, uh, politically, symbolically, socially. The Hermitage has placed extra security around the property in case someone decides to come back. At the Hermitage, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5.